This is Captain Joe Kent with this week's GoBaha.com fishing report. We were hoping to come to you from the outdoors this week. However, it has just been too cold with a blasting cold wind that is just penetrating. So we're going to do it again from our studios and hopefully next week we'll be outside. Now, the big news this weekend, this week on the fishing scene, has been the prospects of a fish killing freeze. Well, at this point, we think we're in the clear. There's been no signs of any major kills, at least on the upper Texas coast. I visited with Lance Robinson, the regional director for the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department in their Dickinson Marine Lab in Dickinson, Texas, and he tells me that they too are very optimistic because by now we, started, we should have started seeing some signs. The Parks and Wildlife Department has run planes over the upper, lower, and middle coasts, and they have spotted some signs of some fish kills below the Galveston Bay complex, but not around here. So that's good news. Now, after Valentine's Day, and that's Monday, uh, we should be uh, in the clear. And I say this because, uh, according to the records and according to my fishing logs, we have not had any major any major freezes after that date. Yes, we'll have some freezes, but they won't be major freezes. Generally, in March, we'll have a couple of days where the temperature drops below freezing, but it doesn't last long, and it's not a hard freeze. So let's hope that pattern continues again this year. Now, what are we in store for fishing in the upcoming weeks? Well, we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, when you have patterns like this where we have uh, the water blown out of the bays one day, have a freeze following it, and then the next day the water comes back from the Gulf, it, it gets the fish all in uh, a, a confused state. Now, there are patterns that they will, uh, they will display. For instance, they're going to come out of their deep refuges and hit the shorelines, especially muddy and mud shell bottoms that tend to warm the quickest, and they're going to be out uh, roaming around for food. And this will be especially true in the afternoons. So if you want to do some fishing, my recommendation is to focus on the afternoon and focus on areas where the bottom is mud or mud and shell. Anyhow, hope you have a good weekend. And remember, the best time to go fishing is whenever you can. This is Captain Joe Kent, and we will be back again next week.